It excites me that it's always ready for disruption. And it excites me that the hardest working, most innovative weirdos all have a shot. I feel like there are tools in the industry at the fingertips of anybody. And that's probably the most exciting thing. So even though there's a million times more noise that you have to break through, um, you could be, you could, you could be a 17 year old in a suburb of Iowa and change the world. I know for me, just having, obviously having been an artist, just how much help you need out there and it's all hands on deck and getting anything to move the needle is really, really hard. You know, I've gotten billboard features about, you know, before about a song or, and that have done nothing after being an artist for as long as you have, how else did that prepare you for this role? <laughs> I mean, just tenacity and just, I mean, and this, this goes for anybody in my band and probably I would extend to include any artist who has broken out of Chicago period, just because it's such a ruthless fucking wasteland. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, you cannot just casually, only only the strong survive only the absolute maniacs survive so i didn't realize at the time that you know those six years of being unsigned in chicago and then it was hard it was harder and, and more painful it was just there's so much suffering involved with that that i didn't even i didn't realize at the time it's just about the relationship with fans and it's like how important how little it takes to, to really connect with someone and how just vital their belief in you is. I oversimplified my worldview. I, I assumed from the time I was very young and I didn't really address it again till much later that the world was comprised of either artists who were, you know, really fulfilling their destiny and, and um, tortured for their, you know, for their message and, and really just sucking the marrow out of, out of the world itself. And then everyone else is just some sort of automaton, lifeless, soulless robot um, who gave up and who compromised too much. And that was my worldview forever. Um, and it's really interesting how, how wrong I was. So I, it's not binary that that there are gigs within the music industry and within the creative community that are believe me as edgy as being on the stage and believe me like as creative and as cool and um that lead to um interactions and dope conversations with some of you know the world's most fascinating people so everyone's path is not linear it's going to look like this. You're going to try out different, different roles and gigs, if you will, um, within the industry until one of them pops off or until you're passionate or you find your passion with one of them. Um, yeah. And so yeah. that's really great just to get your experience from yeah, what you were. aware of the linear. You don't want linear. I mean, you want the highs and the lows. You want the crashes and the victories like you really you need that and if you're not if you're not having those rock bottom self you know self-reflexive existential nightmarish you know <laughs> periods then you're not you're not doing enough making it known exactly what you want to do or are passionate about is the law of attraction so like you put it out there and then you attract those who or you surround yourself with those who kind of serves as a support system or can help you out in some way and um hopefully help you make it happen by not only holding yourself accountable but like just for the greater good of the group but also i commend everyone and especially the music industry which is why i'm so passionate about it is everyone takes the risk and they don't follow the conventional path like we shouldn't have to feel bad for the upsets that's that's how you learn and that's how you grow so i 
I agree. Yeah, I agree with everything you listed. And that's something that I'm seeing too, even in like my last few years. Like that's why I started this podcast. And that's why I'm trying to create community in Chicago, because exactly why you said it's like so difficult. We're so far away from the like hubs of the music scene that it could be a little bit more difficult to connect with those um, who are still here. It's hard to hear when you're young, but and, and this goes with breakups. This goes with anything that, you know, feels like the end of the world at the time. It's always another door opening. And it's I was standing in my backyard when I had to turn down a tour to go out to South by Southwest for my band. And this was, this was a solo mm -hmm. record where we had, you know, a duet with Gerard Way from My Chemical Romance and all this great press and all this cool stuff happening. And I realized it's just running the numbers that we could not afford as a band to tour. And if we couldn't afford to tour, you know, I can't have a band mate give up a, their bartending gig where they make a thousand dollars a night to come tour in a van for right. virtually for free. It came into focus for me in a way that was really new. And that is, holy shit, it's not, it's just not going to happen the way I committed it to be, you know, mm -hmm. it's, the way that I committed to when I was 17 years old is not going to happen. All of the, all of those skills apply out there. So it's so it's it's drive and it's imagination and um, it's kind of like an expertise and a lot of this you know the the tools that we use and all that shit and and kind of like a deeper knowledge of like what's happening behind the scenes and whatever else. So if something's messed up out there and if it's anything standing in the way of of good artists getting recognized, and I want to I want to make that I want to help any way I can with that. So, and then I got, then I got into tech, into tech because the coolest people I was talking to weren't at the old school labels doing the old school thing. It was like my homies at, you know, at Apple and at Amazon and at Spotify. And so right away, I'm like, those are the rooms I want to be in. I want to be in the rooms with the people that are really upsetting the status quo. And, and so I guess I would hope that other people recognize too that that pivot does not mean that it comes at the sacrifice of, of everything else that you know that you woke up striving to achieve in the world. It's just it's just a, a different, you know, it's just slightly different language or slightly different path. Mm -hmm. No one's path is linear. Like you know, they're going to try new things, and I feel like the same is happening with a lot of musicians who may be doing something for the time being until they kick off their career or maybe that just wasn't something for them and they find something that they're more passionate about. So I think this was very helpful and I loved hearing about your experience. Matt Devine, thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Setup. It was such a pleasure to hear all of this. Thanks for having me and um, let's definitely do it again. <laughs>